going to show you how to transfer or copy photos and videos directly from your Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, S8 Plus, or the S8 Ultra directly to your Windows computer, PC, or laptop using the charging cable. So the first thing to note is uh, with the Tab S8, the charging cable you get is a USB-C to a USB-C. So if you have a USB-C port on your computer or laptop or basically a Thunderbolt port, you want to plug one in into that USB-C port. Now if you don't have a USB-C port, then you may have one of these laying around, a USB-A to USB-C. Okay, so you can use the USB part, plug that into your USB port on your computer. All right, but I do have a USB-C. So I have that plugged in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect my tablet here. I'm gonna pop this in here. See something there, something popped on there. Now we have to go ahead and make sure that we're logged in. Okay, so go ahead and log in. And then once you log in, we should get a, so as soon as I log in, I should get a message here. Okay, so then this message here pops up. Allow access to tablet. I'm gonna click, click on allow here. Okay, now it's gonna set that down. Now you wanna look on your Windows computer and what you wanna look for is the file explorer, that little yellow folder down there. If you don't see it down here, then you can just go into search here and type in file explorer. You can type, type it into search. Okay, but I have my file explorer right here. I'm gonna tap on that. Now from here, what we wanna do is we wanna tap on this PC. And then we wanna tap on where it says your Galaxy Tab. Okay, I'm using the Galaxy Tab S8 right there. I'm gonna double click on that. Then I'm gonna double click on internal storage. Now you have all these folders here. Now all your photos and videos that you take in with the tablet will be stored in here in the DCIM folder. Again, DCIM, double click on that, and then double click on camera. Now we can see, I don't have that many photos or videos on here, but you can see I got photos in here. You know that they're photos if it says uh, JPG for JPEG file. And I have two video files on here. I can see a video file there and a video file there, okay? So from here, we can go ahead and save this directly to our hard drive on our Windows computer. You know, for example, if I wanted this, this picture, this JPEG file, I can drag and drop this somewhere on my desktop. Just drop and save it. Or what I typically do is I'll right click somewhere on the desktop on my trackpad, right click. I'll go down to new, and then I'll go down to folder. And I'll name this something. I'll just name it Galaxy Tab. And then what I typically do is just highlight all my photos and videos. And then I'll drag and drop into that new folder I just called Galaxy Tab. I'm gonna drop it right in there. Let Go ahead and let it transfer. Okay, there we go. So we're done. So now I can go ahead and unplug my tablet. And you can see that folder now. All my photos and videos are in here. I can double tap on that. And here's a video right here. I can double tap on that right there. And there you go. Pretty simple. Questions or issues, comment below.